You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So first we're going to be talking to Chris and uh, John. Uh, they're going to be talking all about the Christmas uh, Lantern Parade and the Christmas lights. I think we'll be speaking to uh, Chris first. Chris, as always, it's uh, great to see you. Here. Yes, lovely to be here again, Daniel. So I was hoping you could sort of start off by uh, telling us uh, a bit more about the Lantern Parade, introducing it to us. Absolutely. Well, the Lantern Parade has in fact been going on now for, oh, ever since 2002, um, and it's been growing every year. Um, what basically happens is that we go into schools, we go into cubs and scouts and youth groups and also families come to us and we make the lanterns, they're all beautiful handmade lanterns with candles in um, and then the lantern parade happens um, and everybody uh, parades along with their lovely lanterns. Sometimes we make some even bigger, more exciting structures. <laughs> and we fill them with uh, coloured fairy lights and, and one thing and another. And we're always hoping that um, other community groups will join in. Everybody is more than welcome to come along, um, whatever community group you have. Um, the rowing club is thinking of bringing a, um, a rowing boat along with the rowing boat all lit up. Um, sometimes people have come along mad mick and... Uh, and a couple of other people have come with their bicycles all lit up with fairy lights. Um, so anybody can join in, um, and that's what we really would like to happen. And I think you were going to talk a bit more about the workshops. Yes. Well, the um, most of the workshops, we actually go into the schools and the cubs and the scouts and the youth clubs um, and and do lantern making with them but we also have public lantern making workshops which will this year be taking place at Rose Street Cottage of Curiosities which is at Rose Street near the market down the road by Subway um, The it's a little museum we are open on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays but the weekends of the 21st and 22nd of November and the 28th and 29th of November we'll be uh, making lanterns with anybody that would like to come along from about half past ten in the morning till about uh, two or three, it just depends how many people come along really. Um, if you want to book a, a space you can you can ring me on 077, I expect... Oh, You'll give the numbers out, won't you, at the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, do it now if yes, you've got it. 077757123306. Or you can easily find me, Chris Reed, on Facebook. Um, I always check my Facebook, so you can contact me like that. And then we'll be making the lanterns. Um, we've got all the equipment. It's all free. Um, and... Everybody loves making the lanterns. You can take them home. Some people have kept their lanterns from year after year. They've kept their lanterns. You can hang them up in the garden and they look lovely. Chris, Chris, I mean, the, the lantern parade, I, I saw it for the first time last, last year, so apologies for that, but it was just absolutely stunning as, uh, as, as the parade came through the, through the high street with all these sort of lanterns being held on sticks and up high and that type of thing. But, but... I need to know. I need to know. <laughs> how how do you make what what do you make them of? Because it it, it looks like a kind of papery thing. But. Yes, yes. Um, well, the the framework um, you use they are willow withies, which are. Is that? Um, it, is, are you allowed yeah. to say that on on radio? Willow withies, <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> which are very very bendy sticks of willow, long straight ones. Um, and you can bend them in, make them into all kinds of shapes, and then they are covered in special tissue paper, which is, in fact, the tissue paper which hairdressers use for perms. They're usually cut up into small 
pieces a bit like cigarette papers. I always put it on my head, yeah. <laughs> but we use great big sheets of it, all covered in either PVA glue, or if you want to make a really long-lasting lantern, cover them with latex, which is like what the zombies used on their faces where, the other week. Where do you get the latex from? Um, on the internet. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> is it a secret? <laughs> no, it's just that it's not one of the local shops in the town. But okay. uh, you might be able to get it in Dusen's or somewhere like that. OK, and uh, and the withies? Where, where the they withies, they all come from Somerset. Wow. And they come in a great big bundle from Somerset. Excellent. Well, yes. I'm learning something. Every, every, <laughs> it's, it's brilliant coming on this show. <laughs> so uh, what other ways can people get involved? Well, the other things that are going to... We're going to have a really exciting day on the 5th of December. Um, I mean, this is something that is getting bigger and bigger. We're having a road closure all day long. Um, the the market, the main Sheerness market, is going to be in the town. Um, one of the ways people can get involved is if they are a charity or if they are a crafter they can come along and ask for a market stall to sell their goods or to do charity activities is, is fine. Um, there is also, uh, this year's got a new thing, a Santa run. In some towns they have thousands of Santas running along the road. Um, we are just starting it up in Sheerness. Um, it's the Rotary Club and the idea is you pay a tenner and you get a Santa Claus costume and hopefully there will be hundreds of Santas all running along um, to open the Christmas festive spirit. And of course they will end up, because um, there is a, a Christmas light switch on. And the years, Christmas light switch on, yes. So, so I don't know whether we're going to get a, the winning Santa to, to turn it on or not. It would be a great idea, wouldn't it? Yes. Or well, they can have a battle, arm wrestle. Yeah, <laughs> I'd like to. I, 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 I kind of like to see that. I think that's what we're going to talk a bit more about the Christmas lights. Yeah, the uh, the, the Sheerness Town team is uh, once again sort of uh, funding the money for the for the Christmas lights, uh, and we're just investing in uh, some new uh, some some new sort of strands. Un unfortunately, it's it's kind of replacing the ones. Um, that, that have died a death, uh, which I think you know a lot of people don't understand that um, the lights only have a sort of finite um, life. So, uh, so, so yes, we've uh, we put a lot of our funds into that, and and we've got a man with a with a crane coming along to put them up sometime uh, at, at the end of November, uh, certainly in time for the for the lighting lighting up. Um, but if anybody wants to come along and help. Um, that's always useful. It's at dead of night normally, um, but we can usually do with a, a few extra pairs of hands, so long as you're sort of wrapped up warm. And um, and if any companies uh, on the island want to uh, sponsor some lights, um, probably not for this year, but certainly in the, in the, in the future, that would be a, a great idea because it, it'd be nice to bring some some more lights, particularly across the the high street um, back into the town. And I think we're next going to talk a little bit about the um, spooky stories, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, since we have taken over the Rose Street Cottage of Curiosities, we're very keen to have evening events happening and other events, apart from people just obviously more than welcome to come and have a look around. So on the 6th and the 13th of November, Friday the 13th and Friday the 6th, we are upstairs and downstairs in all the rooms of the cottage telling spooky tales of old Sheppy. So they're all true tales, with maybe a little bit of an embellishment here and there. We're all dressed up in costumes with our spooky makeup on and um, we're having a, a practice run at the moment because we've got the cubs and the beavers coming in um, we've just had a bunch of cubs in and tomorrow night and the next night. Uh, but on the 6th and the 13th, they're going to be more aimed at the adult audience. Uh, so if anybody would like to book up for that, have a look on Facebook again, Rose Street Cottage of Curiosities or the Big Fish Arts Facebook and, and book in. We'd love to see you. 
can 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 I just say to the to 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 the listeners, right? Here in the studio, Chris actually has her spooky makeup on now. She's got a white face with sort of black eyeliner around her uh, eyes and uh, sort of bright red sort of lips of hers. <laughs> uh, Chris, now I, I'm, I'm interested in this because I've got a um, a Halloween party to to go to on on Saturday. How how do you get that look? Where, where do you get that white sort of mm. thing from? Well, we this is something that we have developed ourselves. And what we use, we use the white hairspray, which um, they sell in fancy dress shops. And um, if you really wrinkle your face up, which I am doing now, and then you get somebody else has to do it, you wrinkle your face up as hard as you can. Somebody sprays your face. You have to take a deep breath. They, they spray your yeah, face. Spray your right. face with the white spray. Keep your eyes shut until it's dry. And then when you open up. Providing you are nice and wrinkly, like I am... Oh, I can do that. ...then um, all the, the wrinkles show up as dark and, uh, and the white gives you that spooky, spooky effect. It does look really, really... And how, how, do, you, how, do, you, how do you get it off How do you get it off? <laughs> um, soap and water or a lot of cold cream or... <clears throat> Moisturizer right. and the and, and the black highlights or or, or low lights. Low what, lights. What, what, what do you use for that? Uh, we we you can either use normal makeup, uh, ladies sort of um, eyeshadow, or you can use face paint. A lot of people seem to have face paint now. Kids all come; they're all beautifully face painted up. Black face paint. You can get it in the fancy dress shop down Hope Street. I'm sure they'll be happy to see you. They've got all sorts of things in there. Oh, I'm going to make a visit. Yeah. Going to make a visit first thing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and I was hoping before you go, you could just um, refresh our listeners and, of course, go over any useful contact details, whatever a summary, I suppose. Yes, absolutely. Well, um, one of the good things about uh, the 5th of December is that it's a, a joint effort. It's the town team working with Big Fish Arts, working with Promenade and the Rose Street Cottage, um, Sheerness Market and the Rotary. So lots of organisations and charities are involved in it um, and there's always room for more and more help and more people to come along and join in. Um, so it's on the 5th of December. The Is road closures all day. Saturday, isn't it? On, yeah, the Saturday, the 5th of December. So it's a, a really good start to Christmas. Um, there will be some school children singing carols, there will be lots of buskers uh, playing music. <coughs> um, obviously, the Big Fish Band leading the parade. But Mar market, market stalls. Market in, stalls. In, in, in the high street. Yeah. Plus craft stalls. And, and special, special note, uh, Saturday, de December the 5th, it's Small Business Saturday nationally, which means on Sheppey, free car parking. Free car parking. Did oh, and there's also going to be a Santa's Grotto. Oh, yes, Santa's Grotto, in Rose Street. Are in the back of Rose in... Street Cottage, yes. Oh, in have you, have, have you been to see that? It's wonderful. It's, it's <laughs> a huge sort of wooden beach hut there, which is ideal for, for Santa's cabin. Yes. I think we, because we, we wrote a letter to Santa, didn't we, to say... We have you know, written to Santa. Would you like to come in? And he's, yes. we, we sent him a photograph. and got a letter back today to say he's really excited to come to Sheppey. And so, so we're looking forward to that. Yes, very much. Well, if you're happy, we've covered everything. Because always, it's been great to have you uh, here in the studio once again. Well, thanks very much for having us, Daniel. Thanks, Dan. Brilliant. Dan the man. <laughs> <laughs> that is John and uh, Chris in this evening, live here in the studio, talking all about the Lantern Parade and the Christmas lights. <laughs>